cities are joining i welcome all of you with my love and respects i'll enter into the third verse of isavasya upanishad please chant along with me asurya नामते लोका अंते न तमसा वृदा तास्ते प्रेत्यागछातमोजना translation the various abodes of the asuras the lower lower level existence are in the form of inferior or lower grade worlds which are like hell squared by darkness representing all the negative qualities collectively called tamas those who literally kill the atma become ghosts who inhabit such horrible abodes and this they continue to do repeatedly listen people who said yes to life what will happen to them was described in the last verses now people who say no to life what will happen to them is getting described listen whenever you entertain no to life first always no is entertained 
as frustration then it evolves as anger violence self doubt self hatred self denial all this is various expressions but it starts as frustration so i tell you one of the important qualities to say yes to life is tremendous patience listen tremendous patience yes 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 every time yes after every time yes listen every time what do you want does not happen don't say no end in s yes. i am not saying accept no i'll give you an example if something does not happen the way i want in our sangha i don't accept and keep quiet but i don't allow frustration i'll do whatever needs to be done and end i'll say all right yes next i'll be again prepared with all the patience to move further to do things further my disciples ignorance never made me reduce my plans understand the people with whom you are living first you and everyone else around you their ignorance or inability should not give you frustration should not make you say no to you listen the moment you accept no the moment you say no to expansion you have started saying no to you asurya namate loka ante na tamasa vrta tagunste pretya bi gachanti eke chatmahano janaha the second line of the verse should not be chanted as taste as a part of it i heard learnt i heard from my acharyas tagunste even though the verse says just taste tagunste af gum silent gum tagunste ಪ್ರೇತ್ಯಾಪಿ ಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ ಏಕೇಚಾತ್ಮಹನೋ ಜನಾಹ ಲಿಸನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಟು ಯು ಇಸ್ ದ ವಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿನ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇನೇಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ your creativity our plans to express your peak possibility this is one definition and multiple i can give you multiple explanations multiple understandings from various friends like for example your body gives pain at some parts of your body headache or stomach pain don't shrink when that headache comes stomach pain comes don't add psychological suffering to it oh if the same continues what will happen i am very young now itself i am getting headache 
and stomach pain. Now the stomach pain, if it just goes up two inch, it will become chest pain. If the headache comes few inch down, then it will become chest pain. What will happen to me? How long will I live? Don't add psychological sufferings. When your body gives some pain, listen. Listen. Don't add psychological sufferings. Don't increase the strength of actual pain. Listen. Whenever there is a suffering, you should move from perception to fact, fact to truth, truth to reality. You should not go down from perception to more perception of sufferings. And more perception of suffering leads to more depression and more depression makes you feel the whole world is hell. Understand? The perception, if it is handled with powerfulness, will move from perception to fact, fact to truth, truth to reality. If you have a headache, look into it and see what it is. Why? What it is? How much your contribution is there in that headache? And what is the message body wants to give you through that headache? Have patience to deal with yourself. Listen. Have patience to deal with yourself. Have patience to deal with others. And never ever plan based on anger and violence. The maximum you are allowed, the usage of anger and violence in your life is spontaneously to defend you when you are attacked. Listen, listen to these words. The maximum violence and anger allowed in your life is spontaneously defending you if you are attacked. That is only maximum allowed. No question of planned violence and anger. Listen, the planned violence and anger literally puts you in a space where constantly people plan violence and anger with anger plan violent things towards you. Listen. Understand thousands continuing to revere you cannot happen by cheating. Be very clear. Cannot happen by cheating. It happens only by tremendous patience and saying yes to life. Tremendous patience and constant yes to life. So I tell you, Never ever entertain a planned violence based on anger in your life that is equivalent to saying no to life. And when you say no to life, Asurya Namate Loka Antena tamasavrita 
తాగుస్తే ప్రీత్యాభి గచ్చంతి ఏకే చాత్మహనో జనా ద వేరియస్ ఫేమస్ అబౌట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద అసురాస్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫీరియర్ ఆర్ లోయర్ గ్రేడ్ వర్ల్డ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ లైక్ హెల్స్ కొహెస్ట్ బై డార్క్నెస్ రిప్రజెంటింగ్ ఆల్ ద నెగటివ్ క్వాలిటీస్ కలెక్టివ్లీ కాల్డ్ తమస్ దోస్ హు లిటరలీ కిల్ ద ఆత్మ బికమ్ గోస్ who inhabit such horrible abodes and this they continue to do repeatedly listen the various lokas are not basically just physical but psychological too listen earlier i used to make a statement they are not physical only psychological now i am amending my statements please listen they are not just physical they are psychological too it means they do exist as planes spaces somewhere and you do create that around you because of your inner space i am amending the statement or oh, you know earlier when i made the statement they are not psychological they are not physical only psychological i wanted to emphasize and ask you to put all your attention only on developing your inner space actually when you develop your inner space then you will realize they are neither psychologically existing nor physically existing when you don't see something never when you never see something in your life they don't exist it is as good as non existent for you so you don't have to even know that they exist that is the contact from which i made the statement they are not physical they are psychological but now i am expanding on upanishads i have to reveal the cosmos as it is so i am telling you hells do exist in certain space in a different planes where collectively all these people have tea party only thing in their cups poison is served not tea i can say coffee is served not tea and i also wanted to tell you all guys tea is drink from vedic tradition it is directly from kanchipuram coffee is not just recently few days before i stumbled upon the reference and the i traced back the reference and it found to be true i am just doing little more research to give you the exact combination how it was used in kanchivaram chi bodhi dharma took tea to china it was a very strange incident here he used to sip a cup of tea to sit in meditation not to feel the sleep tiredness in the body so when he went there he could not get tea in china so he was thinking what to do what to do then he just realized by taking tea his body also has the dna of the tea he just removes the eyelids one part of his body and throws in the ground that becomes a seed of tea and tea leaf grows there <laughs> that's the way he took tea to china
he reproduced the seed of tea leaves, the tree, the plant, tea plant, from his own DNA. And where the people of lower consciousness who constantly say no to life who constantly say no to life where they all gather and live exist that place only Upanishad declares as Asurya Namate Loka coerced by darkness lower grade worlds coerced by darkness Antena Tamasavrita How many words Upanishads are using? Antena Tamasavrita Asurya, Anta, Tamasavrata. All the three words are basically same meaning, but three different words are used. Means the kind of a space they are in is emphasized, emphatically repeated. See, it's like a, people come and tell me, Swamiji, the moment I attended Inner Awakening, many of my old friends dropped. Many of my old habits dropped. Now I have completely new way of thinking, new way of habits, new way of acting, new friends. That is what your lower grade world has disappeared. <laughs> your hell is over. Now your taste has become different. Your taste has changed. Your taste has changed. Listen. Covers by darkness coerced by all the negative qualities that is why asurya antena tamasavrita antena tamasa means Blinding darkness. The darkness which just makes you blind. Shrouded. Understand? There is certain darkness which makes your eyes to see through. Near Vankareshwar, around six months I lived without seeing the artificial light even once. Because the nearest village is where I have to go for my food, begging, Madhugari Bhiksha, they don't have electricity connection. At the most they have is lamp, the fire lamps. And that also I will never go in the night. In the daytime only I will go and come back. In the night I used to stay in a stone cave which was very comfortable. Without seeing the light, when I stayed for six months, my eyes have become so sharp. And still now, the power I gained during that six months, I am able to retain. In that six months, I gained the power of ability to read in the darkness. And still now, that power is with me. Even now, the utter darkness I can read. 
so darkness which is natural does not make you blind go blind that is why the upanishads are using the word blinding darkness means it is a darkness created by the negative qualities which is blinding you it is not the ordinary darkness they don't want to disrespect the ordinary darkness they know because they lived in darkness darkness does not blind you that is why specific word blinding darkness any modern day man will say eh, all tamasa will make you andha all blindness will make you dark why should you use the word andena tamasa why should you use the word blinding darkness because only a man who lived in darkness utter darkness knows the power of darkness when you live just with the sun and the moon without any artificial light fire is okay without any artificial light your eyes develop unique power to see through the darkness to see through the darkness for almost last 12 years my eyes are being literally boiled with this heavy high beam lights this 12 years hours together i am sitting with these lights and i tell you all celebrities who are in the limelight continuously suffer and they take so many treatments to cool their eyes i don't do anything rarely pouring few drops of rose water or ordinary water other than that i don't do anything still eyes are working perfectly much more than what is required <laughs> it's because the training which happened during that 6 months so i want to tell you don't think don't understand darkness blinds you negative qualities which blinds you is described as darkness here that is why he is using the word upanishads are using the word blinding darkness antena tamasavrata in the form of inferior or lower grade worlds which are like hells coerced by darkness representing all the negative qualities collectively called tamas those who literally kill the atma understand this is the key word killing the atma atmahana atmahana slayers of atman means not just killing some body some body listen any decision thinking which stops your expansion of life your experience of life is atmahana saying no to life when you have a headache if you approach it with a restlessness anger violence irritation and make it as a permanent headache or a permanent suffering that is saying no to life if there is a disciple who is giving you a headache <laughs> a 
handle them train them even if they don't listen have tremendous patience and continue to train them never come to the conclusion you can't train people it's from my experience i'm telling you having tremendous patience in every dimension of your life never coming to conclusion of no to life is saying yes to life i can give you 1000 examples and i am very clearly with all my integrity telling you from the sutra mercy killing is wrong killing yourself due to some pain or suffering means committing suicide or commit killing yourself with the help of professionals doctors euthanasia or assisting somebody to kill themselves all this is wrong as per upanishads hindus should neither allow mercy killing on themselves nor practice euthanasia please understand of course in hindu tradition we don't have the tradition of issuing fatwa we only reveal the truth and people follow it so i am revealing the truth as per the upanishads euthanasia mercy killing is not encouraged or allowed even if the worst suffering is happening go through the life because even those sufferings will be teaching you something and making you to reinvent yourself in the next birth do not avoid any lesson which life brings you do not say no to life in whatever way life presents itself to you so learn to say yes to life reinvent yourself by saying powerful yes to life and i also sincerely recommend all the hindus not to practice euthanasia not to do it as even as part of your profession whenever the countries where the mercy killing is allowed whenever you are asked to assist by a patient recuse yourself showing religious reasons and euthanasia should not be practiced by a practicing hindu please understand in hindu tradition you don't become hindu by birth that's on beauty you become hindu only when you start practicing it so this gives the clear understanding anybody practices is hindu this gives a powerful opening anybody practices is hindu so understand 
no question of saying no to life even if the life presents itself to you in the way you are not able to tolerate no so as hindus all of you even in your will should mention very clearly every possible available intelligence energy resources should be used to keep you alive as long as possible mercy killing euthanasia is not encouraged and supported in vedic tradition in any form saying no to life is not encouraged and i also very clearly reveal the truth a practicing hindu has to be vegetarian you cannot say no to the existence of animals listen people come up with argument oh hey, plants also have pain plants also have life when you can eat them why not animals listen plants have not developed the muscle memory to store the pain in them so they do not existentially feel the pain they do feel some kind of a alternation happening in them but do not feel the pain pain as one of the important quality getting stored an ability to re play itself is one of the important quality of the pain which does not exist in plants please understand getting stored an ability to replay itself is one of the important dna qualities of pain plants don't have that that is why eating plants agricultural products are allowed i can give you tons of examples naturally human body is created for vegetarian lifestyle and i am also warning the whole world within next 15 years you will be able to support the whole population with food only if you decide to turn vegetarian because 30 pounds of food is necessary to make 1 pound flesh understand 30 pounds of agricultural food which can be directly consumed by us is necessary to produce 1 pound flesh so vegetarianism vegetarian lifestyle is the most affordable i tell you just by being vegetarian you are doing annadana giving food for thousands of people whenever you consume a vegetarian meal you are already giving meal to 29 people because you are not taking away 30 persons food into one meal understand if you are consuming vegetarian food already you are serving food for 29 people so understand every time you put your hand on the vegetarian food remember 29 more people are blessing you for letting them have food
all practicing hindus have to be vegetarian because saying no to life is most dangerous you don't have the right to say no to life atmahana you have no right for atmahana because you are atma gana means you are embodiment of atma you don't have a right to say you don't have the right for atma hana i'll continue to expand expand on this verse because too many important truths are revealed just in this one verse asurya namate loka antena tamasa vrata tagaste pretya bi gachanti eke chatmahano janah lizan lizan asurya namate loka antena tamasa vrata tagaste pretya bi gachanti eke chatmahano janah people who say no to life become ghosts who inhabit horrible abodes inferior or lower grade worlds which are like hells coerced by darkness representing all the negative qualities and this they continue to do repeatedly asurya namate loka antena tamasa vrata tagunste pretya vigachanti eke chatmahano jana so understand saying no to life is the greatest sin i'll continue on this verse in further satsangs now with this i'll move to the next segment of the morning satsang kalpadar darshan and i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living advaita eternal bliss nityananda thank you nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone Zero eight zero two seven two seven double nine double nine www dot nityananda dot org www dot youtube dot com slash lifebliss foundation.